Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's Mental Stimulus Update, we are going to talk about how Nancy Pelosi is actually putting a committee together to investigate the January 6th insurrection. The question we have before us is, is why, when it was first introduced that we do the insurrection investigation, why the Republicans said no and basically blocked it? I mean... I can only figure that the Republicans wanted to block it because they were involved in it and they're trying to remain the innocence by hiding the truth. I can't prove this information, nor would I try to prove this information because that's not my job. But if it was, I think I'd have pretty much fun at doing that, don't you? It'd be hard to find a lot of GOP stuff, but if you had the power to do it, you could find anything. But I mean, as we've seen before, we've seen video of uh, Mitch McConnell, I'm sure if you've seen it off TV or other internet programs, that Mitch McConnell is trying to say that how he is not trying to hide voter, I'm sorry, not voter suppression, but um, hide the January 6th insurrection. Yet as we see around most of these red states, and I hate to say yes, I live in one of those red states, and uh, they're, they're practicing voter suppression so they can easily hide the truth. This way, our, our voices won't be heard by the Republicans because, as I'm sure we all know, the Republicans don't care about us. They really never have cared about us unless we have billions of dollars, in which case then we get tax cuts, tax credits, and we become richer while the poor become poorer. This is how the Republicans work, and their actions have proven this. I mean, I'm not just talking about from all the stimulus packages that, that have been introduced. I'm talking about from basically, if you, if you remember from an earlier episode, I talked about how when, it, I think it was last year, it, when Trump was still in office, how he introduced a $2.2 trillion infrastructure bill. And yet, all the Republicans were on board and were just jumping on board about it, saying, yeah, that's a great idea. And now that uh, President Biden introduce the exact same thing, the Republicans are like, ah, oh, we want nothing to do with that. Okay, what is the difference between Trump's infrastructure bill and Biden's infrastructure bill? I'd be guessing Trump's infrastructure bill was to make the rich richer and make the poor poorer. Not caring about jobs, because if we check the job, job markets, we found out that Trump actually didn't create that many jobs compared to currently Joe Biden. Joe Biden has created a lot of jobs, and his infrastructure plan for the United States would create millions of jobs. Whereas Trump's infrastructure plan probably wouldn't create that many jobs. It would give a lot of tax cuts, tax credits, and the people's money to the rich so they can become richer. So, the question we're going to be asking is, is why are the Republicans the way they are and not like they used to be? Because in an earlier episode, we talked about where the Republicans came from. If you remember correctly, they became from the, the, the Democratic Republican Party. That's how it all started. And then they started to fracture apart in from splinter groups, like the anti-Masons and stuff like that. And they became the Republicans eventually after they became, some, after they became some, someone else, if it was called. And... Yes, I do admit, our one of our founding father, fathers back then actually did uh, support slavery, even though slavery was wrong. And back then, I'm sure the Republicans actually were the anti-slave people and the Democrats were the slave people. In fact, it's been written down that that's exactly how it happened. That the Democrats were for, for slavery and the Republicans were against it. And they switched. And now the Republicans are the racist slave owner, slave people. And the Democrats are those ones out there saying, look, we need to make living situations better for everybody, no matter their skin color. You know what? I actually agree with that policy. Our skin color doesn't say who we are. Our skin color is just part of our heritage. I mean, I don't care if one of my black brothers out there is like, has a darker skin than I do. It's just part of his heritage. It's part of who he is. It makes him who he is. It makes him unique. But that's sidetracking a bit. Sorry about that. But the January 6th insurrection. I think it's also linked to Trump's big lie. 
because if you think about it, Trump keeps saying how he has won the, the election for 2020 when in fact the numbers and all these audits out there have proven that he's wrong. Now, I don't know exactly if he's, and well, actually, we're talking about, he tried to stop SNL from making fun of him, which is hilarious. He wants federal attorneys to investigate Saturday Night Live for making fun of him for being the fool he is. How bright is that, right? I mean, you're, you're going to spend your money to <laughs> have, have someplace investigated for making fun of you for being a fool because that's what you are? It's a waste of time. I mean, th this shows that Donald Trump has dementia. Besides the fact that his many years of narcotic abuse has left him wearing a diaper, that has been proven, and where he, he will actually publicly defecate himself. I think I've actually posted a picture on one of my videos showing that Donald Trump actually shit his pants while at a golf course. I believe with Lindsey Graham, I'm not sure. Lindsey, Lindsey Graham is one of his co-conspirator allies, let's put it that way. Just like Mitch McConnell, Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, and the rest of the 41 who voted to not impeach Donald Trump. But, like I said, I think all this stuff loops around saying that the Republican Party is 100% guilty because they're not willing to prove their innocence. I mean, come on, think about this, people, right? Someone accuses you of a crime that you know you're innocent of. Does the cost of money mean that you're not going to spend it to prove your innocence or that you're going to try to prove your innocence. I mean, if someone tries to accuse me of something wrong that I didn't do, money's no no matter to me. I'll pay it to prove my innocence because I will not go to prison or jail for someone else for something I didn't do. That's not right. And I don't think anyone else would do that either. But yet, here we have the Republican Party not allowing the investigation of the January 6th insurrection to happen and Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, has actually started a January 6th investigation committee. They did try to do a bipartisan where it would be five Republican and five Democrat people on the committee to do this investigation. But they said Mitch McConnell said no to that one. So now it's, I'm guessing it's all 10 Democrats. And you know what, those Trump, Trump supporters as well as most Republicans are going to say, they're going to say, that, oh, that shit, that information is not true. And they're going to basically try to screw the Democrats. So when the midterms come up next year for the Senate, and I'm guessing this is for the House as well, for, for those uh, seats, vote Democrat. Because otherwise, if you vote Republican, you're going to be taking up the ass for the rest of your life. But until next time, I will um, basically try to edu yeah, not educate you. I'll try to entertain you a bit better next time. I'm sorry about this. I just had to get something off my chest. I'll, I'll try to throw in some good, some more good robot chicken to make you guys laugh of some various episodes. So until my next video, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.